Hey guys, I ran into the Dollar General. My goal today was to see what we could find that would be cheaper than the Dollar Tree for like snacky type items since your kids are out of school. And I had just been hearing that Dollar General was up in their game and they definitely have. Um, but I wanted to show you what I found. I did get a few things over a dollar, but I'll show you those last since this video is a dollar, Dollar General haul. So let's go ahead and jump in. I got our favorite Wales baked cheese crackers. They sell these at Dollar Tree for $1.25. This is the same size box. And my kids and I love these and we were completely out. So the kids are home on summer break. So went ahead and got another box of those. I really like these. These are the TJI Friday potato skins and jalapeno cheddar. They have onion rings. They also have chili cheese. I just like the jalapeno cheddar. So I picked those up for myself. It says there's 3.5 servings per container. But me, I'll eat this in one or two servants. I'll be the only one to eat these. None of my other people in this house like spicy stuff other than Nick. I found the big bottle of Welch's juices for a dollar. This is the Welch's Concord Grape Juice Cocktail, 16 fluid ounces. And my doctor told me when they have like the stomach bug, stomach flu going around during the school year to drink grape juice every day. And it um, produces some kind of healthy bacteria in your body and it'll keep you to where you're not as sustainable to get the stomach virus. So we're going to try that. But then I also picked up the Welch's in strawberry kiwi and these are 16 fluid ounces each and they were a dollar. I have, I bought two of these. These were a dollar as well. These are Olivier's. I don't know. Um, it's similar to my name, but the ending's different. Olivier's, Olivier's, I don't know. It says a delicious treat, two white chocolatey pretzel rods made in a peanut free facility. So if you have a child with peanut allergies, these would be safe for you. It's a product of Canada and there's two servings per container. Oh no. It's one serving. This whole package is one serving. So I got two of these packages of them. You can see that. And it says it is 100 to 180 calories per pack. I think it say 180 calories. Okay, and the last few food items that were under one dollar were these two. I do have like two or three other food items that were over a dollar and I'll show you that next. So I found these and they are Kool-Aid gummies, three fruity flavors, cherry grape and tropical punch. So I thought me and Hayden would try these and let y'all know how they are. And then I had never seen these before and I love orange cream. It was a dollar and it's the orange cream gummy rings from Sweet Smiles and it's five ounces. This one was four ounces. And that was all of like the $1 snacks, I believe. I did pick up this Clover Valley. It's a very small package and it was $1.50, but I love peanut butter and jelly, y'all know. And it's the Clover Valley peanut butter PB&J snack pack. And it was $1.50, like I said. At the end of this video, I wanna do a taste test on this with y'all and let y'all know how it is. And then I picked up just some blue or berry frost Pedialyte for Mason. And then let's get on to like the $1 home items because Dollar Tree does have an aisle just for dollar items. I kind of went all over the store to find these things, but y'all know that I have very thick hair, so I use more conditioner than I do shampoo. So most time I run out of conditioner before I do shampoo. So I like to keep like an extra bottle of shampoo, I mean not shampoo, conditioner with my shampoo for when I run out. So I saw this LA Looks Champion Coconut Oil Conditioner. It's 15 fluid ounces. So I thought I would try it out and it smelled just like coconut. And I really liked it. And it was a dollar on the little dollar aisle. And then 
they had some dish soap. So I picked this up. They had this in like a grapefruit, I think, and it was like a pink color. But I picked up this one and it's Ocean Minerals Dish Soaps 2 times or 2X, 18 fluid ounces. And it's by the Purpose brand. It says it's made in Canada. Just picked up this one just to try out and let y'all know. It has a really nice, just clean smell. Tricocin free and paraben free and infused with botanicals. So we shall see how this works. It's a pretty big bottle. It's 18 fluid ounces. I don't know if I said. And y'all know I love my scent boosters from Dollar Tree. Well, Dollar General has these big bottles for a dollar. So these are 12 ounces. So I thought we would try these out and compare them with the Dollar Tree to see if a little bit bigger of a bottle for a little bit cheaper is worth compared to the Dollar Trees. But this is the Powerhouse In Wash Scent Booster in Lavender Burst. It was a dollar. And they had some smaller ones. I just picked the bigger ones just to try them out. And then they had the Powerhouse In Wash Scent Booster in Fresh Linen. And this one's also 12 ounces. They have a pretty strong smell which I like for my clothing because it doesn't automatically go onto the clothing when you wash it like the strong smell you smell in the bottle is not what your clothes are going to smell like so I like them to have a pretty strong smell in the bottle and then the last one dollar item that I picked up was this 12 count colored pencils and it's the Imagine brand and I'll show you why I picked that up and well right now I'll show you why I picked it up I have been wanting to try out like the adult coloring books. I know it was all the rave about a year ago, but I never got onto the bandwagon and I saw this Country Life Advanced Coloring for $3. And so I really wanted to just color this and I didn't, didn't know if I had any colored pencils because all the kids stuff is in like that gaming drawer with all of our board games and markers and all that's in that one drawer. And so I didn't know if we had any colored pencils. So I just picked up this pack of colored pencils and the color book. I know we didn't have any adult coloring book. It's chickens, country life, just really clean pages. And they're not double-sided, which I like because most of the time your pages will bleed. There's some goats. I think that's goats. I'm not sure. Life is better in the country. I just really thought these were really pretty horses, a bull, some sheep, just a bunch of farm animals and cute little country roads, a cute little barn. So that's what I picked up. Oh, oh yeah. And then the last item that I picked up at the Dollar General is just, oh, one of these boxes. The purple dot today was buy one, get one 50% off or it was 25% off. I didn't see anything else I liked. So I just got this for 25% off. It was normally $5. I got it for $3.75. It just has flowers, joy and sunshine. My soul is made of joy and sunshine. So I just got this like to go under my bed for like my little knickknacks and stuff because I love boxes like these. So yeah. Let's go ahead and try this PB&J, and I'm going to grab Mason. I think Mason is going to try this with us. Like I said, it's, it looks kind of like a Nutella packaging, but apparently the peanut butter is supposed to be like in here, and you're supposed to dip it in the jelly. So, let me give Mason a taste first, and then I'll take a bite. You want to try it? You don't know what to think about it? You don't know what to think about it? Now I'm gonna take a bite and try it and see.
the wafer reminds me of a peanut butter cracker. You know, the Austin's peanut butter crackers, the orange ones. But the jelly has a very, very artificial flavor to it. Not a fan of the jelly. Mason likes the jelly, it seems like. <laughs> um, but yeah, if I wanted this again, I would just buy some peanut butter crackers, the orange ones, and put my own jelly on the side. The jelly makes the peanut butter overpowered. The jelly overpowers the peanut butter, and I like my sandwiches and my peanut butter and jellies for the peanut butter to overpower the jelly, if that makes sense. So, that's it for this Dollar General haul and little taste test, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Say bye-bye. Can you tell them, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video.